So the recent New York Comic Con allowed Bandai to March Nations to showcase some upcoming and new products, so some exciting announcements once again for their superheroes and anime lines. So the marketing has truly begun for Venom The Last Dance as they have already scheduled a second SE figure art release for next year. So based on what I'm seeing, since there's no official announcement as of now, it does look very similar to the first release. It will be the third figure in the franchise if you include Carnage from the sequel. As good as this looks as the first one was i feel that this is for those who missed out on the first release so it's just another live action venom which includes two head sculpts as well as the tentacle arms no doubt it was a great figure after the first release i did say i hoped for a eddie brock head sculpt but that already depends on licensing if they can get it for this one and for the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Peter B. and Mayday Parker, which was only recently announced, has finally joined the Spider-Verse line on display. And this is the most neutral pose, the one we saw the first scene of when he meets up with Miles and Gwen, of course holding on to the baby. So this is going to be a very exciting release. As we know, both of these figures have a variety of poses. And behind them, they've already displayed all the other releases in the line, as well as the upcoming next release, which is Spider-Man India. And the most anticipated releases of 2024 for me at least is the Deadpool and Wolverine line. So both of these already on show for the fans for a first look and both of them do look amazing just like the promo photos with the sheer quality of the sculpts all the way to the paint details. No doubt this is going to be an exciting addition to the MCU lineup. The Batman 2022 reissue is ready for next month as this was another announcement a few days ago, this time with the new cape installed. Build wise and in terms of the sculpt is going to be very similar to the first release although we're going to have to wait for the final product and no doubt this is going to be for those who missed out on the first one and in terms of the anime line they showed off a double upcoming releases for naruto shibuden so we have a closer look at the recent announcement of shikamaru nara as well as the upcoming shunade the One Piece line is making strides as the legendary iconic moment of Shanks handing the straw hat to a childhood Luffy has already been recreated in figure arts form. With the recent releases of Luffy and Nami from Romance Dawn, this line is only the beginning. And we also have a look at the trio set of Luffy, which has already been released of course, next to Ace and Sabo, which are highly anticipated. And the latest edition of Chainsaw Man with the recent announcement of Aki Hayakawa is on display and this is next to the five other releases. And the legendary anime card game Yu-Gi-Oh! will see Dark Magician join the SH Monster Arts as it's already on display. And for their biggest line Dragon Ball Z, a second Sabon dubbed as the True Power will be added into the ever so long list of characters, this time with a new head sculpt and build. And next turn we have the Vegeta 24000 which has already being released. And that brings me on to a special SE figure arts announcement where we saw a prototype not long ago which is the Son Goku and Dragon to celebrate the 40th anniversary V-Jump manga which will be scheduled for next summer of 2025. So this is the iconic manga cover of Dragon Ball Volume 1 which features Goku sitting on the dragon and it also includes a beautiful color base and I believe there will be a sleeve cover for the box to replicate the manga and you can see there are two sides to it. And this figure of Goku really poses. We have some dynamic stances, the different hands, the different face sculpts, as well as the weapon included. And although the dragon, I believe, is a statue only, this is going to be a very limited release. So here is the full set. It looks like they've gone all out on this figure with plenty of accessories. And I truly believe this will be a special one to add into the collection. I know they've done plenty of Kid Gokus, but Tomashi Nations have always come up with something new, something unique, and this is going to be an exclusive edition, which at the moment is only available for Japan. So what is the most exciting SE figure arts announcement coming soon? You can let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.